As a child, you made to understand that hard work and quality education is your best chance of success and having a good future. But sometimes hard work and education are simply not enough. My name is Frank Kwanza. I used to be a NAPO trainee, but due to the delay of our stipends, that has made me learn doing part-time elsewhere. So this is the amount that I earn every month. That's 800 cities. The food I eat within the month costs 240 cities. Uh, when I come home to the same thing, because I will eat in the evening, um, 200 and so, so, so here. Then I have my utilities, 100 cities a month. I buy pot every week, I buy one statue. That one is six cities, so in that one month, I spent, um, 24 cities. I spent 90 Ghana on credit. Transportation, that is 144 cities a month. I also pay toilet fee, that is 20 Ghana cities. That is every month. So in all, I spend 858 cities, Ghana cities a month. So it means I even have a deficit of um, 58 Ghana cities, which is a very serious one. With food, rent, fuel, and transport fares rising periodically, wages are not keeping up with the increment, and life has become one of survival. Kwame is a pupil teacher. He had to make the difficult decision to send his wife and kids back to their hometown in the central region. So I have a lot of responsibilities. Um, I tied today 7.5 that I have, or 7.50 that I have here. The boy uh, is in Nezu 2. In Nezu 2, I have to pay 350 Ghana cities. And every day when he goes to school, I have to give him um, 12 cities. And the man is 288 Ghana cities. I have a baby girl too. We buy uh, this foreign food that is now one. Sometimes we doesn't even reach anywhere. We have to buy some condo to even add it to it. Uh, when I'm going back to school, I have to give my wife 50 cities as uh, housekeeping money. So when I come back, at least I can also get something to eat. And then um, I also have to fix the utilities. I earn 750 Ghana cities. And then if you look at my expenses, I spend almost 2,168 Ghana cities. Because of that, I have to ask my wife to go back to their hometown so that I can use myself more. So sometimes I also have to call friends, at least if somehow they will give. Now to you see this, uh, we have some something that also is as small. This is our betting. Sometimes we also have to do some. Vulnerable households are not thinking about saving money, but how to survive another day to afford life's basic necessities. I do hand to mouth, and it's not really. Uh, going on well at all. My girlfriend left him because of my, uh, my situation. Because if you work and you earn 800 cities a month and after doing all your calculations and you, you have a deficit of 58, then what am I going to give her? So I'm still calling out if there's any job opportunity also, anybody can offer me, I'm ever ready to avail myself. Church, because of the money, I don't go. Yes, in fact, I've been away for two years now. You see, when they say offering time, then like you begin to look left and right as if you are owing somebody in a church room. I'm trying that maybe I'll get myself um, capital so just to start something on my own. Ayoko is the breadwinner of her family, taking care of her children and grandchildren by selling foodstuff on behalf of someone at the Tuesday market in Mamprubi. Sometimes I may earn 50 CDs a day and I share it among my kids and grandchildren. I can't even say. At 4 p.m. and this is what she has made all day. She prays that people will buy her foodstuff on time, else they'll rot, and she has to throw them away like today. This is 20 CDs worth of pepper gone bad. She sends her grandson to get her 5 CDs worth of condo, but this is not enough. <laughs> Uh, my five city. 
She sends him out again to get more. The fight for survival has many faces. For some, survival means pushing a truck with a heavy load along the street of Accra to make ends meet like Teria. I gave my daughters 12 CDs for feeding. This is too much for me to bear. For others, survival means hawking oranges just to make 30 CDs a day. For Tahiru, originally from Niger, survival means combing the streets with the hope that someone would call him to repair ton clothes. For a month, my money will reach maybe 30, 30, 30 cities. They will say, you not get money by this time. If you do not work, you work far, they will not get the people you call you. That's why. So today, have you made money? If it's more money, I get it. My money, if it's more money. For Frank and Kwame, the emotional toll of the high cost of living is a burden too heavy for them to carry. Mommy, Daddy, I greet you. I'm telling you that I'm so working hard and uh, I know at appropriate time I'll come and see you and sort you out. Hello, sweetie, firstly. Uh, you know I love you. Um, it's not my intention you going back to uh, the village um, with the kids. It's my, it's my dream that we all stay together, but because of the situation in Accra, I have to let you go. But I'm promising you that uh, in due time, uh, you come and join me here in Accra so that we make life together. We are hopeful the words Debi Debi Ebeye to mean it will be well someday will become a reality in their lives. But the question is, when? Poshia Gabor, TV News, Accra. Oh,